Hi there, thank you for joining me on Fruit Crafts. I'm Christine and I welcome you to my channel. Today I've brought you into uh, our bathroom um, for a peek into some of the plants that we have growing in the washroom. And uh, actually, it's because it's uh, got a high humidity zone and uh, you know, it's perfect time. Right now it's really warm outside and these tropical plants, um, some of them orchids, some of them not, uh, love the high humidity. So here is a Phalaenopsis that is uh, a rescue and it, and as you can see it had, when I got it, uh, well I, it's one of mine actually, but it just, it was so um, neglected a little bit and it was just dying with this one leaf. And now I have two more, which is really nice. So there's one new one there and uh, a newer one that's already grown out there. This is a little a lucky bamboo that my son gave me about two years ago and uh, it loves it in here. I've tried it in different places in the house and it seems to really like this. This. Um, window is a frosted glass here so i think the dapple light not the dapple light but just not the straight harsh sunlight it really helps this is the newest acquisition and it's an nepenthes or a pitcher plant that my son got it's from a younger son who's very interested in carnivorous plants and just unusual plants and he picked this up today i thought it's a great idea right now to just make a video show off um, the pictures as we have it now and then maybe as we get all um, you know uh, more used to the plant I would be able to do a, a few more videos on it uh, these are the new emerging pictures and uh, there's a small one there but this is what it is basically what the picture is is just an extension of the leaf um, so right at the tip of the leaf is where the picture comes and forms on there that is a Nepenthes and uh, it's a pitcher plant uh, and I think it's just like a um, hardy Nepenthes I don't know if there is any um, cultivar name to it uh, that I can see this again is another rescue fowl from one of my co-workers and it was dying and I thought it was dead and gone for sure but here it is growing and uh, it loves it here it, with the high humidity and as you can see, it's now it's put out one new root and two more right there, which is great. And I've since I've uh, rescued it, it's actually, it was left with just one leaf again, and now I have four more leaves. So uh, one, no, yeah, which way does it go? I think it's this one, one, two, two, three, and now another one, so four and it's doing really well. It's still in this original pot that I got it in and I, I literally was about to throw it out just before we went into quarantine and I'm so glad I didn't and uh, that I gave it a chance. So that's just my little window here in the bathroom and uh, I really like how it's just filling up with some plants and it's looking really nice. And um, you know, it, like I said, it loves the humidity. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying your uh, warmer weather if you are in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, you know, I, I know it's a very different summer for most of us where we're able to spend more time at home, but I'm trying to make the most of it and do a lot of gardening. Um, so not just with orchids, but just a lot of gardening in general, uh, different zones in my garden uh, or different rooms really in my garden. And so um, maybe I will be sharing some of that with you if I can. So thanks again for watching and until next time, enjoy your gardening or your orchids. Bye-bye.